Hi, welcome to Lesson 21. Lesson 20 was long and complicated. So Lesson 21, we're going to wrap up our discussion of consolidating multiple ranges into one pivot table with one more example. You remember we left off here where we had north, south, and west consolidated into one pivot table. What I want to do is watch this utilities line, and we're going to go to north, and instead of utilities, I'm going to go change the data and call utilities depreciation. And then we're going to come back to the consolidated PL and remember that nothing is going to change until we refresh the data. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to options, we're going to refresh the data, and watch what happens. Notice how the depreciation is added there, and it doesn't get too worked up about categories that are in one set of data and not the other set or sets of data. You don't have to have everything exactly the same to consolidate. If we Pull this, let's move month and division that way. So you can see that utilities is not in north but is in south and west. And depreciation is in north but not in south and west. And a pivot table can consolidate that and pick that up just fine. So if you have data that varies a little bit over here on which, on PL categories or other things that are in some locations and not in others, it's easy to continue to. Uh, consolidate and pivot those, it doesn't have to all be exactly the same to work. It's a just an additional feature that you may find helpful as you try to look for data to consolidate. It's got to be reasonably close, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same data. And you can consolidate and pull pivot tables out of it and get detail all day long. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.